In this problem, we're going to investigate the electric power requirements and consumption uh, of resistors or light bulbs in a series circuit. So I'm going to draw my series circuit here. It's going to consist of three light bulbs or resistors, R1, R2, and R3, I'll call them. So R1 is going to be R1 is going to be 5 ohms. R2 is going to be 10 ohms. And R3 is going to be 15 ohms. We have three different light bulbs with different light intensities. And this is going to be run by a 60 volt supply, 60 volt power supply of some sort. And the question is, we want to find the amount of power supplied by this guy. So we call this the voltage supply. How much is applied, supplied by that guy? And how much is consumed by bulb one? So power one, power two and power three. How much is consumed by each of the three bulbs? Okay, so our basic power equation is P equals IV. So the amount of current going through any one of the uh, circuit elements and the voltage right across it, right here. Okay, and then we're also going to use Ohm's law. Ohm's law comes in very handy when trying to find uh, different things like voltages for the power uh, equation. So those are our two equations. So listen the variable. So what do we have here? So uh, we have the voltage supply, and we know that is 60 volts. And the power of the supply we're trying to find, we don't know. Okay, and then we know R1, we know R2, and we know R3. So let's write those down here. This is 5 ohms. And this is 10 ohms. And this is 15 ohms. So we know those values of the resistors, but we don't know the individual powers that they consume, the power consumption. It's like a light bulb in your home, how many watts a bulb uses. We are going to try to find that. So power one, power two, power three. We're trying to find those guys there. In, in addition to the power supplied by the power supply, how many watts it supplies. And again, the units here are uh, for power are a watt. Okay, so let's see here. We will need to find the power that is supplied by the power supply. So let's see, it's I in the circuit times its voltage. Okay, well, we have to actually do a little side dish problem here. We have to find the current in the circuit. So since it's a series circuit, we know that there's one single current. And there's three resistors here. We have to figure out what that current is. So I'll do the little side dish here. On your homework, maybe do off to the side here, but for room, I'm going to do a little side dish problem. And what we want to know is the current in the circuit. So I is equal to, from Ohm's law, V divided by R. And in this case, it's R total, the total resistance in the circuit. So we have a 60 volt supply. And we have, in a series circuit, we simply add the resistances. So it's 5 plus 10 ohms plus 15 ohms, which gives me 60 over 30, or 2 amps of current. So there's 2 amps in every circuit element, because in a series circuit, as we know, the current's the same. So for the power supply, it's 2 amps runs through the power supply, and it's a 60 volt supply, so that's 60. So 2 times 60 is 120. 120 Volt, uh, watts, excuse me, watts. That's how much uh, power supplied by there. Now for the first guy, the first resistor, it's also IV, okay? So it's equal to two times, now the only problem is we don't know what voltage this is, this individual voltage, but we can find that because we know that V is equal to, I should be specific here, V1, I1. V1 is equal to I times R, Ohm's law. R1, so this is equal to 2 times 5, because it's 5 ohms, or 10 volts. So this is 2 times 10, or 20 watts. Power 2, very, so I'm going to repeat the same process. It's IV, which is 2 times, now the voltage we don't know, so we have to find the, the exact voltage here. So it's I times R, R2 to be exact, 2 times the resistance of the second guy is 10 ohms, so it's 10 ohms here, 
which is 20 volts. So we get S is times 20. And so it's 2 times 20, it's uh, equal to 40 watts. Okay. And likewise, and I'll just write this in here equals IV. This is going to be equal to 2 amps, and its voltage is going to be V3. Is it going to be 2 times 15, because it's 15 ohms, which is 30 volts. So this is 30. I know we're running out of room here, but the final answer is, you can see this, 60 watts. So 60 watts, 40 watts, 20 watts, and then what is supplied by the entire circuit, or the power supply is 120. So you can see this is interesting because I supply 120, and I consume 60, 40, and 20, which is 120. So the power supply is the power consumed. Um, if I, in a real circuit, if these didn't add up, then I might have to consider how much power is lost in each of these wires. So I'm assuming there's no resistance or power loss in the wires. Uh, in a real circuit, when these distances are very long, you might lose some power, so this might not add up exactly. However, you can account for it by the power lost in the wires, which means when you build a circuit, you want to have as short as uh, short as wires possible, so you, you minimize the power loss. Um, so in this example of determining electric power on the series circuit, our two basic equations are P equals IV and V equals IR. As long as you know the current going through an element and what the voltage is across each one of these, individual circuit elements, you can find the power very easily.